Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you what's new in version 2.5.1 of the uh, SketchUp Sketchfab uploader. Um, I just updated it and it actually has a bunch of new functions and um, the most exciting one of those most probably is that now you can re-upload models. Okay, so let me show you what uh, you can do and how it goes and so on and so forth. So let's assume you've installed it uh, from the extension warehouse. So that's of course right here and then you can you know go through all that process and when you install it it comes as usual under the file menu as upload to Sketchfab and uh, there's the you know same um, menu as before upload model and the dialog also looks fairly similar. So there's there's not much news in terms of the user interface, but um, we can go ahead and test and upload. The same as before, the model title is mandatory. The description is not mandatory. It's usually good to have it. Tags are all um, space separated like this. And then if you happen to have a pro account, and this is a Sketchfab pro account, not the SketchUp, um, Pro, uh, then then you can make this model private and even give it an, a password. But I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Then your API token is something that you would have had to get from the Sketchfab website, and I do have some descriptions on how to do that. Um, the upload options are the same as before. You know whether you want edges shown or uh, textures shown, and so on and so forth. So so like I said, not much new here. I'm going to hit Submit Model, and same as always, if I had selected anything, it would ask me if I want to um, only upload the selection, but if that's not the case, then everything gets um, uploaded. Okay, so now open the browser, and again, this process is fairly similar, so I'm just going to pull up my browser window right here. Um, you. Uh, we'll have to wait for a little bit for this to process, but but um, I'll see in a second when it comes that there's now a publish button. So basically, what's happening here is that as soon as you upload something, let me turn it a little bit, um, it gets uploaded as draft. Beforehand, it would immediately upload as a published model, and you know you'd have to be a little careful because all your friends see it. <laughs> But um, basically, it goes up as draft, and you can change things, uh, some of the settings right here under um, edit, um, whether people can download this and so on and so forth. You can do the full 3D settings um, uh, interface, and then you can publish this model. So um, what I'm going to do right now is actually I'm going to go ahead and click on 3D settings. And this gets me into this really nice interface at Sketchfab where, where you can do all kinds of things. You know, you most probably have worked with this before. You can change uh, you know, the environment, uh, background, all of those kind of things. Uh, lighting, I can pick a lighting preset, default, sounds good to me, something like this here. Um, but then you can add materials, and then you would go ahead and most probably pick some materials and then figure out some way to make them look good. So this particular one I'm going to make a little transparent. Right there. And then I'm going to go up here, make it nice and glossy, just I don't know, just because those kind of things. And you can see a nice, nice reflection there, um, and so on and so forth. So, so you know, this is all stuff that I've done now in Sketchfab. I've done my edits right here, and I'm going to click on Save Settings. There we go. And I'm going to go out. I still haven't published this. Uh, I could have published this model, of course, you know, and then then it's live to the world. But um, I want to show you the other great feature. Okay, so it's uploaded. It has a model ID. It's up there. What's new in the uploader now is that this model ID is actually saved in the SketchUp file. 
and if I go back um, and upload again I can edit or re-upload the file that I just had up there so let me do a little magic here so I'm just going to create a second house I don't know just <laughs> why I do not know <laughs> okay so let's do that and then I'm going to go to file upload to sketchfab upload model okay so first of all you see that all the uh, parameters that I entered earlier are going to be here so test you know the title and so on and so forth um, not much new here <laughs> other than that it remembers now but once you hit submit you'll see that this thing comes up so now it um, knows that I've uploaded this model before and you do have two options one is um, if you hit yes it will basically re-upload the model into the same um, model that's already uploaded and the cool thing here is if you did any edits like I just did all of these material edits in Sketchfab get preserved your geometry will update and if your material names are the same then those materials will also get updated so that's a really neat neat feature if you don't want that and you you know out of the same file want to create a second file upload you just hit no and creates a new model ID. So I'm going to say yes. Again, open in the browser. Now I'm going to go there and you see now that this was the model that I just worked on. There's the model ID, same model ID. So now of course there's a little crunching involved and we have to wait, but you'll see in a second that the same model has now been overwritten on Sketchfab. There we go. And you can see already, you know, this is what happened. First of all, the materials um, got retained, all the edits that I made. I didn't make many edits, but I did some. And since I copied the same house over here, where the same material name basically is applied here too, the material edits which are by name uh, will update this one as well. So that's a really nice feature of course uh, you know ne models are never perfect <laughs> when we upload things and now you can re-upload and redo things and whatever you know it's really up to you. Um, you can in influence this a little bit especially you know since this is a new feature sometimes you might want to edit that a little bit and you may already have seen that in the upload to sketchfab um, menu there's now a edit model id when i pull that up i can see the model id and this corresponds to the one that i just saw online um, where uh, i i can now either update it or i can delete it or I can you know do whatever so here here's a use case if you had uploaded a model before the current version of the uploader then um, sketchfab and, and you know the sketchup model here doesn't even know that it's already uploaded so you could go open your model find it online copy this model ID into this dialog hit OK and at that point it got added to a SketchUp file and you can just go to upload to Sketchfab, upload and you know it will override or your re-upload will override the the old upload but it will keep keep the materials um, the same so that's that's one use case there's a bunch of different use cases you know where you might want to edit the uh, model ID but for the most part you don't have to do it so once you upload a file you can always go back and, and re-upload the file that's basically you know on the front end most of what there is you see there's 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 really not much else functionality added but um, behind the scenes there are some some updates and um, particularly these. Let me just pull it up. Whoops, right here. There we are. So this is on my website, just uh, the description. Um, you can see right down here. What do we have? So, you know, the, the usual fixes. But um, 
you know, some some of these things get stored. Uh, so so some of the data, basically the model name and everything that's related to the model gets stored in the SketchUp file, whereas some other things like the API um, token gets stored in the SketchUp uh, application so that it always comes back. Um, again, more <laughs> updates. Um, there's now a check in there that uh, materials, uh, you can only use 100 because that's uh, the limit that Sketchfab supports. So um, if you go over that, uh, while you can upload it, it'll not be very predictable. So you don't want to do that for the most part. Um, and this is maybe the biggest uh, change behind the scenes for older users. Um, I dropped support for anything that's before 2014 and Sketchup. Um, because there were some issues with that. So that's now gone. But again, this is all behind the scenes. You really don't have to worry about any of those kind of things. One thing that I have now too is a user man manual. So if you go to um, the page uh, on my website, which you can get to as well if you, if you are in SketchUp, and you go to help right here. Same thing, gets you right there. There's a manual and everything that I just told you is right there, nicely spelled out. So I hope this is going to make it really user friendly and I hope you all have fun with the latest version of my extension, which is version 2.5.1. All right, enjoy.